we just make a slider inside of the inspector but actually in the game view you cannot touch the, the these sliders so in the UI we'd like to have a slider UI inside of your game view so to do that let's make the slider first right click UI and you will see slider and let's go to the 2d view we have the slider over here and let's make it a bit larger maybe this time I want to have the slider in the middle so uh, let's select anchor point bottom center and to change the slider color of course you can change the color over here so normal color highlighted color and press color something like that but I'm not gonna change it right now but let's just copy one more time to slider first one let's call this one as rotation slider and then second one let's call this side slider and let's create the c-sharp script I'm gonna call this one as rotate and scale slider open the c-sharp script and this time we need to call another uh, namespace so using unity engine dot ui so we want to use uh, some function from uh, ui namespace so first of all we don't need start again so let's delete them and then inside of the class let's make the public slider and let's say rotation slider and again we want to have the public slider which is going to be scale slider and then we want to have the uh, uh, some float number which is going to be to actual uh, represent actual number of the uh, position I mean, or rotation or scale right so for that it is okay to have the private so let's call the uh, private float number which is angle slider number well and then private float scale slider number go to the update what we need to do is just call these numbers inside of the uh, slider so we need to match them within the in the slider so angle slider number is going to be same as rotation slider of the value so value of the rotation slider is going to be same as angle slider number but this time maybe we can make 10 times larger because last time the rotation was quite slow here again all we need to do is just exactly same as before so this transform that rotation is quaternion dot Euler and 0 comma angle slider number comma zero and or well, of course you can create the uh, vector for this and then for the scale it's going to be exactly same as what we've done right now so scale number slider is going to be same as slider numbers value and but this time I'm not going to do the uh, multiply and just finish the sentence and then for size what we can do is let's create the uh, vector first this time so it's going to be same as just before so vector 3 scale is going to be new vector 3 and which is going to use slider scale slider number three times and then this transforms local scale is going to be just size of the scale that's it and save this let's go back to unity to use this we need to attach this into our cube 
So I will just disable previous script and this time I will attach slider script. And now you will see it needs to be attached a rotation and scale slider over here is asking to attach them. So what we need to do is just uh, scroll the rotation slider and uh, size slider like this. And actually it, that's it. Save and let's run it. Inside of the play mode, you will see if I change the size of the scale, it changed the scale and the, uh, it is rotating. But now it's very small and so now uh, we cannot control that very much so we need to change the value of the slider go to the slider again here you will see you can control the minimum value and maximum value so inside of the rotation slider we can do minus 50 and maximum 50 and size slider should be minimalized 0.1 and maximum can be 5 let's run it yeah now you see it is working very well with the slider. 